Hello, hopefully everyone's having a decent day today. Um, just gonna do some uh, West of Low things, see what happens. Um, I, I took too long thinking of what I wanted to stream today. And you know, I just, I've been playing uh, Legends of RCS all, all day. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, I love Rose, how's it going? All right, what did, oh yeah, I just came here for the hat. Uh, what did I want to do? Move to the worst for the record, train's way to go. All right. I think, I think I've explored all I wanted to over here. Oh, thank you for the posture check and hydrate. I don't think it's going to be a long stream today. Just because I'm a little bit poodered. Um, yeah. You're a rattling noise behind you. Another rattling noise off to your left. And a third rattling noise somewhere up ahead. You can hear that you've either stumbled to a nest of babies or a nest of rattlers. Quick glance confirms the latter. Not, not unexpectedly, really. This is no place for babies. I forgot to dehydrate shit. Thank you. That was too easy. You fit all the babies. Wait, no, they were rattlesnakes. Manifest Destiny Railroad Co. I'm over there yet. Planning won't make the train go any faster. This guy should never be put in charge of a switch. He got, he's too busy playing with his watch to get any work done. Where did you get it? See, that's what nice watch. Where did you get it? I bought it from this gal that runs a store south of here. Name a Button Willow. Button Willow Mick, Mick something. Oh yeah, I know that store. Yep, real nice store, real nice watch. He goes to back to filling with his watch. She's not getting much track lead, but she's an expert whistler. You approach the beleaguered looking man with the tiny glasses. Howdy there, who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I'd say the fellow over there in the white hat is the foreman. He points at the man next to the huge pile of rocks. And if you're not, you gotta say that paperback to eat over there in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Alrighty, thank you. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I could do to help. You want to know something? I love trains. Oh? Ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this rail line, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you'll ever imagine. If you want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Hello, Sphix. How's it going? Also, just realized I forgot to give the guy his bone medication, so we're just gonna do that quickly. Your heart skips a beat as you spy a floating cow skull in the middle distance. It doesn't seem to have noticed you. Annihilated. Crush the of that skull cut cow skull to powder, but not before you extracted the useful bits of it. Susie carves another notch in the stock of a rifle, cow hate flashes in her eyes, her resolve intensifies. My foot still hurts? What did you do what did how did you hurt your foot? So this gives me words I'm gonna use to start using a fucking cane? What'd you do to it? 
Were you able to get some broken leg pills? Without them, I'm stuck sort of lying here in the street. Here you go. Ooh, thanks. I feel like a new man again. Or at least the same man with a new leg. That's good. Go drink some milk or something, okay? He waves and skips happily away. Well, that was nice. Nice. Uh... Oh, I just realized Cactus Man is here. Hey, Ska, how's it going? I blame my sandals. Oh, okay. I, like, improper, uh, support? Greeting mothers and fuckers of the jury. I fucked it, now, I fu fucked it up and now I limp and now it sucks. Eesh. Ska, did you ever, uh, upload it? So you know what? Well, I gotta admit, I'm a, I got a little envious when I saw you leave Boring Springs and I figured I'd hitch a ride out west and see what I could see. Just look at this place. So much hustle, so much bustle. It sure is a lot of both of those. Hey, nice spot. Thank you kindly. So what's new? Well, to be honest, what's new is a profound sense of longing and loneliness. Sorry to hear that, Bill. Well, it is what it is. I was hoping I'd run across a similarly lonely cactus lady somewhere out here. Or failing that, a normal human lady looking to marry a cactus. No luck? Not yet. Of course, getting around this is a bit of a challenge, but us cactuses live a long time. I'm sure I'll meet somebody, someday. I'll keep an eye out. Heck, I sure would appreciate it. Oh, no mail. And last things, nope. Also, does no one clear the queue, or, or am I am I your dad? I, I'll not honestly, I have no idea how to. Hey, Lloyd. I heard you had something interesting back there. Not not sure what you're talking about. Maybe I my info's too old. I found a note from some travelers that passed through about eight years ago. Oh yeah, that was the previous bartender. He had a little trick to off to use to offer to show people. It so got him fired eventually. That senator's wife wasn't amused. He rummages around on, under the bar for a minute, then blows the dust off a tiny piano about nine inches tall. You can keep the piano as long as, long as you don't ask me about the trick. Okay. <laughs> Up with anything? Nope. Okay. Play poker. Test and Chester test 20 meter each. The dealer gives a deck of shuffle and deals. Post off ice. <laughs> My dad tells me so many workplace horror stories I'm, and I am the most OSHA complaint motherfucker ever. <laughs> it's a really great hand. Three, a four, three aces, and a queen. It's first round, the pot of 60. Comptuously strategize. You reach over and take one of Tessa's cards without even trying to be sneaky, the nerve. So what do I have? I have 60%, 80%. Cleverly ways. Hundred twenty meat, hell yeah. I guess that was it. Alright, let's just go to the railroad now. If you have to wonder if something is an OSHA violation, it's likely several, yeah. This fucking my bus is down an OSHA violation. 
No, but probably might get you killed. I think I've served the route and planning for this already. At least it did just stop the train in time. The old steam and ram, yep, the good old orange tramp. Guess I'm the boss now, the man looks you up and down. Well, I now suppose you can't be any worse than the last clown. He says a sand. Name's Smee, I'm your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyor says there into any other suitable mountain pass. So we can't reroute it even if we had the months to take. Any ideas? Up my calculations, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is it take a lot of dynamite. A whole year's worth, I'd figure. We used to keep that much on hand for all the emergencies such as this one, but a pack of goblins stole it all. I'll get it back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up over in Gustafson Gulch. It's a real tough, real rough place. You might want to spend some time getting the lay of the land and honing your fighting skills before you head that way, especially if you go on guns blazing. We don't need that specific di uh, dynamite though. Any you can lay your hands on will be fine as long as there's enough of it. There's a skull just roll rolling down the road towards you. Like directly towards you and then you step and when you step it to one side it's worse to match. Hell yeah. You punted that skull right into the sunset. Stealth is optional, stealth was never an option. Yeah. I don't, don't fear death, I only feel radiation. <laughs> Betsy just goblin steps forward. Hello, Al. Being a mayor, welcome. Now going away, please. Goblin seems friendly, but blocks your entry into the gulch. Can I not coming in? So only for goblins being very private. This is very not nice. Don't you want to fostering better of human goblin relations? I could be a new human ambassador and you go to human town being their goblin ambassador. Guessing that might be a good idea. Diplomatics, yes. Okay. Mayor shakes your hand and starts walking towards dirt water. Cool. Nothing interesting. You hear a quiet rustling as if as though a, sim a single goblin were rummaging through a crate filled with straw. Leave it alone. Library and golem. Goblin. Go inside. The shack is filled with crude bookshelves. The bookshelves, in turn, are filled with crude books. Three titles catch your attention. So very complicated numbers. How to bird noise. Alice going into a scene glass. How to bird noise. The book is an extremely detailed treatise on the sounds that different birds make. You probably could, wouldn't expect to learn how to do an accurate, great crested uh, grebe impression from a book, but that's how detailed it is. Anyways, Prussian Blue is a very cool compound. In what way? It's used to counter heavy metal poisoning as dye and to make cyanide. Hmm. You can tell about this book that it concerns extremely high level mathematics. You probably don't you don't have the vocabulary to understand any of it. I probably still wouldn't if it was written in English. Brother would probably love it. This probably ch this popular children's novel has been translated into Goblin. Jabberwocky still reads pretty much the same. Oh, it Brillig being and Toves of a uh, slithing did a in a way gyring and also gambling. Stop. Surprise! Don't get hurt for interacting with the house. You listen to the door, but don't hear anything. Check it inside. Rats looks like the door's locked. I thought I had lock picking. Nope. Oh, I have forging. There's no sound coming from inside. Check it out. Stack with thousands of tiny cabinets, each labeled with a number and goblin. Random drawer. Goblin Gulch Lollipop. Keep looking. Vendemer drawer. This drawer has a sandwich in it. It must have been filed under sandwich. Contains a rolled up pair of terrible pants. Goblin trousers. You have Dicker and Forgen, but not lockpicking yet. Yeah. How is your fridge doing? Eh? Huh? 
be able to get lockpicking later, kind of figured. All right. Sure, I'll eat it. Second lollipop. There are a lot of flavor. Uh, there are layers to its flavor. There's definitely a sugar layer, which is fine. But then there's a fish, coffee grounds, but a cardboard layer. That's pretty much. You're pretty sure it's just a bottle of garbage. Uh. It's a miniature piano. It'd be the right size for a foot tall tickler of the ivories. Uh, but the whining key on the side seems to indicate that it plays itself. Why don't the crank of the piano starts tinkling merrily? Yeah, I turned her off. I thought I got pants. Oh, I'm wearing them. Plus three armor, minus two moxie. Okay. You hear a couple of goblins rustling around in there. Sounds like they're doing something really important. Oh, I'm asking. Yeah, okay. Some butts, some little sauce, but then, my god, they're good. Nice. Going good, but far away off from being added. Added what? You can check the individual clothes when you're looking at Yeah, I just did. Let's get the bed. We have cactus logs with a blanket made of woven together cactus needles. That can't, can't be comfortable. The desk is strewn with folders. One of says important secrets on it. Read the important secrets. You learn a variety of secrets, so only one that actually is important to your circumstances that there's a spare key to the treasure cave in drawer 69-105 in the storage huts. Guffs and Gulch Treasure Cave Key. Anyways, my mom almost took a look at my sketchbook last night. Oof. I want a fridge in the background to put fan art on. Oh, I see. Okay. Press your ear to the door and hear somebody delivering what sounds like lines from Hamlet, except in Goblin Tongue. From this vantage point, you also notice a sign next at the door reading, Backstage entrance here it, be here it being. Then they're pointing to the back of the building. Head backstage. You sneak backstage and watch the play from behind the curtain. Not only is it a goblin version of Hamlet, it's also being written as a one man show. To being or not to being, oh, that is a question. Could be better thinking to suffering of crazy things and arrows, or fighting so many bad things for stopping because them, uh, be stopping them because fighting, to dying to sleeping to sleeping hey, dreaming maybe but oh problems if dreaming crazy when living, what dreams having after dying, wow pretty weird probably. You watch for a while the bits where the actor has to do a sword fight with himself is pretty entertaining. You listen to the door but don't hear anything. Looks like the door is locked, dang it. Okay. You hear the bunch of gruff goblin voices gruffly griping at each other. Leave them be. Unlock it. What on earth did I just walk in on? The goblins paying more attention to their book of goblets than to you, but you're pretty much you're pretty sure that you aren't gonna be waltzing by. Spoil the ending. Hey goblet, good book? What thinking about how Goratio is only surviving one at the end? Everyone else dying. Poisoning, sorting, blau pam. Ah no, wow, spoilers. 
Guard runs out of the cave with their hands over their ears. Yay. Hydrant and check, thank you. I don't know how many bones fix, unfortunately. I lost. I, I don't know anymore. I feel like it's a lot more than 139, though. I just spilled all over my fucking face. I am so stupid. I need to calcium. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. This goblin guard is whittling a w little wooden bird call, but they're not too, not too busy to beat you up if you try to get past them. Try your new bird call skills. You duck behind a stalagmite and do your great crested grab impression. Oh, gasp, a great crested whip. Grab. Wow. The guard pulls a pair of binoculars out of his uniform and runs out of the cave. Unlike the other two guards, this one is being very attentive and seeming seems very suspicious of you. Also, unlike the other two guards, you have they have, they have an antifig that says Gene. Fuck it, fighting it. You won so much for those guards. Variable, rare and valuable treasure chest cactus. Got meat. More meat. Your supply of dynamite, nice. Now that one needs lock picking. Can we appreciate that 16 on the meat? Nice. I actually didn't notice that one. Howdy there, I'm Wandering Sally. Hey, howdy Sally, I'm fine, what's your line? Trading. I wander around these lands just like it says on the label and I buy a little here and sell a little there. To make my way. Care to see it to wares? You sure. When is the horse fix? <laughs> yeah, it's been that way since the very beginning when we first got the horse. She has some words you can't normally get elsewhere. Yeah, looks like it. Sally, been a while since I saw her last. She's a trader, I guess. Yeah, but she don't keep any particular route. She ain't been outborn spreading this way in a quite a time. Howdy, there's Fix. Off the side of the trail, you notice one of those furry cactuses. It has definitely seen better days. Its prongs are limp, and its hairy coating is disheveled. Ignore that sad sack of a succulent. <laughs> now, this tension span of a frying pan. That's actually that's actually quite clever like that. <laughs> they look fun gear supply of dynamite, the passengers are getting restless. Yep, here you go. Good, perfect. This'll do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellows to set up the charges, and I'll let you do the honors. Smee consults to the other workers and they expect the rocks for a time. Eventually one of them shrugs 
Pushes the whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks and wires up a detonator. Sweet. Let's do it. Oh. I love how the track just ends here. There's a very large and angry looking thing. Guy standing here. Apparently it's a little peeve that having a year's supply of dynamite blown up next to its butt while it was sleeping. How are you going to handle this? Run away. What does this guy say? The surveyors didn't say anything about a crazy rock monster. Quick, you're the protagonist. Do something about it. Magic it away. You still your breathing and squints until you can make it uh, the rock of uh, the rock monster's aura. As expected, there's a rub of cracks and faults on it where the creature's energy was disrupted by the force of the dynamite. You point your finger at the weakest part of the damage and channel a little magic into it. The monster's aura shatters and the rocks drop lifelessly to the ground. You, have little, you blow a little smoke from the tip of your finger and put it back in its holster. All in today's work. Well now it's a fine day's work I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track laid down and heading out now. Here I'll mark the route on your map for you in case your paths happen to cross again. Thanks, but can I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Ha, just kidding. Of course you don't. Every seat on this train's sold out. Sorry, boss. The remains of the triumph over that crazy rock pile guy. See, the tra train made us fi finally made its way west. Figure we can head that way ourselves. Sure. Come on, let's fix. Before I do, I'm going to go pack up on some uh, dogs. Doug grins as you approach the counter. I want... What was it? Elegant hot dog? You're riding along the dusty desert trail, you feel a change in the air. The area is thick with mystical bean energy. You orient, you orient your mind along the axis of the powerful magnetic bean field and follow it to a cave. A sign out front reads, The Great Garbanzo's Secret Hideout. Fellow bean wizards, welcome. Sure, let's check it out right now. What's new, Susie? You know when we, we were right about in the middle of a territory. Back when the cows came on, this is about right where the first reports came out. Like, Ground Zero? Ah, uh, yep, there was a big ranch uh, that was the first one to go. Seems like an obvious place to check out. Yeah, for sure. Keep out and let's see the Great Garbanzo. Kampa Yuka. Papa Fun. What the hell was. Why are you calling me that? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing alright. How about you, Abyssa? Close stick, magic mystical for one, and nods understandingly. I'm good, Papa. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, how'd your uh, stream go? Did I already say happy full, uh, full year, by the way? Thank you for the shout outs, Vix. It's a revolting sofa. Search it. Loose beans in the cushion. All purpose beans. Nice. Most of these books are too fragile to touch, but most. Uh, but there's one that looks like it's in decent shape. Beans Illustrated. It's beanography. What'd you do for your uh, full year, by the way, Abyssa? You know the foggiest idea how this oven works. It requires master cookery. Ah. Great Gobans is bad. It was a pill at all, but a bag of beans. Rats. Alright, how does... Advance bean dishes and make bean iron cookware. 
You read the book memorizing each and every recipe. Nice. Unfortunately, the book was so fragile that you closed reading it, uh, that your close reading caused it to crumble to death. Whatever. I'm not reading that. <laughs> Name myself Little Bro's Nemesis. Why? Also, also yeah, Evie, uh, uh, fix, uh just fi I think it's just fixed, just saying mod stuff. Bean Iron Nugget. Approach the Arcane Oven and prepare to apply your mystical trade. Forge some Bean Iron Cookware. Contemplate, you contemplate your skills with the materials that you have on hand, you can make something out of some Bean Iron. Mine teaches reaches into the bean iron to see what shapes conceal. So you detect three. A badge. You forge the bean iron in the fire of your mind and quench it with the waters of your well. Fortunately, I have no bean iron remaining. Hell yeah, extra spell damage. Because I'm immune to his baby charm? Nice. Absolutely beange. Come on, Sphix, let's go. You're riding along and you notice a side trail leading towards a gigantic cemetery. You draw the location down your map. Reboot Hill. Keep going where your boots are already taking you. Let's sleep walk here. This guy stopped messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans. What you got there? Jelly beans? Can I have one? No. Nope. Please? No, get your own. Well, I never. It's one of those pay telescopes for tourists. This one was designed by a promising young artist named Edvard Munch. You pay your meat. Uh, and look through the telescope at the big canyon. It sure is big. It'll take quite a bridge to get across that thing, that's for sure. Ah, uh, yep. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Smee. Stuck again. Yep, got ourselves one hell of a canyon to get across and no materials for bridge building. There's an old mine up north called Breadwood. They can they open a, a lumber camp after the mine's dried up. If you can fix a deal with them for the lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. Okay, where is it? Of course, anything you find to build a bridge out of is fine by uh, fine by me, but it seems like the simplest option. I'll see what I can do. Let's go to the ranch. Some some kind of crazy skeleton charges at you from behind a rocky outcropping. He's crazier than most animated walking human skeletons you see, because he's got a buffalo skull for a head. And you aren't aware of those haven't been any buffalo-headed people living in the area. You know, historically. Fight him. 91, wow. Okay. And beach. Hell yeah. Buffalo skin pants. You won. That's one lazy, one less crazy buffalo headed skeleton walking around here. Hopefully bringing the total to zero. Welcome TKJ. How's it getting? Going? Getting? I am so incredibly stupid today. <laughs> Alright. A needle in a haystack. Must have been a real barn burner of a party here. Oh, what the hell? What the heck is that? Oh my god, that's gotta be it. It's gotta be. That's where the cows came from. Cow cows came home from. How oh, you know? I just know. Look at this place. Look at this. Look at that goddamn thing. It's like someone went and tore a hole in nothing. What else could it be? Guess we better check it out. Ring of this will attract the attention of at least one infernal cow. Good 
good. Nice. Annihilated. You pulled some cows from their home dimension and mercilessly slaughtered them, you monster. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, they're super evil. Uh, you prep your skinning knife, but all useful hide bursts into flame and withers away before you get a chance to collect anything. It's a portal to hell, you hear ominous mooing. The only part of the shed that didn't burn was the part of this horseshoe that was attached to. Grab the horseshoe. Looks like to be another grinding area. Yeah, I'd assume so. How's the game going? It's going relatively well. I I started streaming a little bit late because I really wasn't sure what I was in the mood for. So I think I might just... I don't think it's going to be that long of a stream. Uh, how long have I been streaming for? Oh crap, 38 minutes. Limping my way downtown walking fast because my feet fucking hurt. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> Hold some cows from their home. Whatever. Tainted milk. Ew. So cow tongue, more XP. The other game I was actually considering today was uh, Star Fox 64. It's been a while since I played that. Oh fuck, there's two of them. I'll just keep doing this. What, 64? I heard... Fuck? No, Star Fox 64. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I think I'll just go. Cross paths with Wander and Sally again. Hell yeah. Spot a make a small makeshift signpost truck or a signpost stuck into the ground a few yards from the way from the road. Uh stop to check it out it says free meat. And indeed, there's a small pile of meat lying in front of it. You're distracted from rolling your eyes at this obvious trap. You almost missed the goblin sneaking up behind you. 
He's wearing an old buffalo skull as a helmet, which you have to admit looks really metal. You gotta hand it to you. You nearly got me. Good job. Ha, foolish human falling into my clever trap. Now are you giving me valuables or I've beaten you up? You know, this may be the first time I've ever been mugged by a goblin. You guys are more or less peaceable. I'm smart like human. Why making things myself and robbing easier? Smart like human is a very apt description of that, yeah. Give me your stuff or hitting you. Calming down. Uh, we come into some kind of agreement. Agreeing with either taking stuff or hitting. Fuck it. Yeah. Let's maul him. You beat the goblin up and take his fancy buffalo skull hat, as well as the meat lying on the ground. Ooh, a chant. There was a, there was a chant that had. That one I also got lots. Ooh, I got lots of XP. Holy shit. Hey Sawyer, how's it going? Is there a... I don't want to read that. Where Wednesday has been good, it's been alright. A, lo a lot of it, uh, I've been playing a lot of the uh, Pokemon Legends off, off stream. Re really, really fun. I, I haven't done any like progression story wise, but I. I'm like getting that huge chunk of uh, like uh, uh, Pokedex done. Don't worry, it's just paint. Oh. Oh, strange is a keyhole in the trunk of this tree. Okay, so in case emergency, find a key. Plot one. You see the ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and depressed, above and beyond what's expected for a ghost. How are you, ma'am? Is there something I can help you with? Oh, it's so awful, I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Let's start at the beginning, okay? Well, you see, I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys. And after that, they each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I, out I outlived every one of the 24 of them. You know you're you know you're a ghost, right? Oh yes, in fact, I died here in this graveyard. Where they all buried. I came to visit them, and I suppose my old heart finally gave out. But that's not the problem, though. 95 years is a pretty good run, after all. What did you forget? I bought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which of them I was my favorite. I'm so ashamed I can't bear to leave until I remember it. Hopefully I can remember Lurk, Okadoke. Completing a Pokedex entry gives three shiny rerolls. Perfecting it gives four. Okay. Can you ever think about your granddaughter? Her first name ended in a vowel. Anything else? I was 40 when she was born. Thirty-seven to forty-two, so it's five years. Thirty-seven to 
55, give or take... Give or take three less, two more. First name was longer than her last, just like mine. Okay, anything else? Whether she was buried next to any of my daughters. Anything else? She passed at the same age as poor, poor Becky, always in such ill health. Her favorite hobby was knitting. Love me, knit me a lovely sweater for Kimbo just the year before she died, and that's all I can remember. Okay, let me think, hang on, think of moments. I think I knew who she was. Actually, never mind. I think it should be bad. Okay. Oh hell no. Farrah Smith? No. Fidelity Smith? No. 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 Pamela might be one. Might be Leslie. Pamela, Leslie, Penelope, Patricia, Lenore, Leilani. Oh, there's too many of these fuckers. Uncover a coffin that was apparently delivered by mail because it tells the address printed on it. Either that or it was just a joke about somebody going to Hellstrom Ranch after they die. I'm thinking it's this one. Melissa Smith. Let's try Melissa. Me Melissa. No, it wasn't her own. I never. It's too despondent to speak to you right now. Maybe she'll be over by tomorrow. Oh, there's fucking more of them over here. This time the bar ate him. Marmot, marmot skin cap, okay. Peggy Immortal, kinda ironic. She said she wasn't buried with the rest of the daughter. Oh, okay. Gone to the big pie eating conscience of the sky. Tripe pipe. Biff Bunkerston. Okay then. <laughs> Never, nobody ever saw a man die that way before. Whole gang buried here. Oh, that didn't bowl up very well. I'm going to die. Victory would have been sweet, but defeat is bitter. Shank weebs. Drowned in a whiskey barrel, that's what he would have wanted. Fred Deeks couldn't remember the rhyme about which snakes are poisonous. First lady bicyclist to ride off a cliff. 
Lavender Crinks, inventor of the turtle ex turtle combustion engine. Nice. Cat's eye candy, plum pudding, jellied escargot, go and got the cameo. Professional sword swallower of all the bits we could find. Dynamite Jim Fresca, nice. Tombstone is big and fancy and has a door on the front. Open the document in a weird little metal object. Take the object. Looks like a piece of a broken key. B T L I T R. This grabs a uh, tontine. Uh, the, the very wishes of Chet Buttersley. A weird sequence of letters. BT litter. Hey, lock picking for that one, and safe cracking for this one. Fuck's sake. Ran for a mayor right off a cliff. Too many wasps. It's bound to. <laughs> Lucky Vinnie Pug, it's bound to run out sooner or later. Embroidered herself to death. You know the one that, yeah, him. The most strikingly red faced man any of us had ever seen. Tried to eat a live eagle on a dare. The okay. Skeleton doesn't seem particularly threatening apart from being a general reminder of your own mortality. Hello, who are you? My name's Bernard, but shh, lower your voice, they'll hear us. Who, the cultists? Yes. Not a fan, they're, re they're reanimating dead people's skeletons. I don't want to be reanimated, it sounds horrible. Can you imagine having to walk around without your skin on? How embarrassing, not to mention cold. Sure, well, plus I mean, dying's hard enough. Who wants to come back to life when you just gotta be, just got used to being dead? Anyways, I'm gonna go watch. All right, take our rose. All right, I'll let you know when it's safe. Paul Tootsbury died of a disease we don't have yet for name for. Territorial scoffing uh, champion. You're not gonna get past this barrier of wooden bones without while well, making us there's no barrier of whirling bones here. Mystical powers make short work of the flimsy magic holding these bones together. These cultists look like they're barely maintaining control over that skeleton. Uh wait a while. You hide behind a tombstone and wait. After a few moments, the skeleton rests itself from the cultist's controls. And goes on a rampage. Bones and teeth fly everywhere, and none of them belong to the skeleton. If that gives you any indication of how the fight turns out. Seemingly satisfied with the carnage it has caused, the skeleton scratches something into the ground and shuffles off to the south. Grutch. Take the black book. Fund fundamentals of Nexmex. That room, nothing left but boots and teeth. Peninsula Wackersley. Nice lady, but a really unfortunate name. Nothing in here but three three barrels and a s single stale smell. Banned from using magic? Good luck. Alright. I took care of them already. Great woo, that's a load off my mind. Let me tell you, here you can have this worry stone, I don't need it now. Race skeletal buddy. The words crawl off the page and into your eyes like worms. The worms bury into your bones and whisper stuff to you about cool things you can do with other people's bones. As you turn over the last page of the book, vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel so well. Your hair instantly loses all of its color. We got a perk, white hair. Is that an actual thing? 
Your hair has gone permanently void to your meddling in the affairs of the netherworld. Minus three moxie. Good, I don't use moxie. Yeah, Solio, you just fucked me. It's a good thing I died to this then. I'm now stage three angry. You're mad on a horn if you're, yeah, okay. So now I can actually use magic because I died. <laughs> Please give me a good barrier. Uh, how do I want to do this? Yeah, fuck off. Oh, you get so angry about losing that fight, you pass out. Wake up next morning in bed. Susie must have carried you back here. Oh, that's mosey. <laughs> Six minutes as you approach, you make sort of a glurk noise.
Alright, we, um, I should probably eat up first. Tongue is extremely gross and his tongue came from a literally demonic cow. Yeah, sure. You eat the tongue, try not to think about the fact that you're basically French kissing a cow as hard as possible. Ew. Alright. I like to send a postcard. You read a quick note to Rufus letting him know you've been up to and that you're okay. Oh, it's one of them prepaid ones, it'll be zero meats. Alright, there you go. See a flash of light in a dark corpse of trees off to the side of the trail, then the smell, then uh, smell the tank of ozone. Three electrified cow skulls flutter the woods and surround you. brought the thunder down on those lightning cows. Uh, as soon as he carves another notch in his stock of a rifle, cow height flashes in her eyes, resolve intensifies. What the fuck? Town's going... What does that say? Town's go... Something about the horse being drunk. Howdy, Mayor. I'm Final Fire. I'm here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry. So we're here to cut a deal with you for the lumber. Alright, I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment are you offering? Oh, I expect you sort of would just bill us. You want that much lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? I can possibly, I can probably offer you train rides. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but that would, deal would be a real problem. I've already got seven problems to worry about. Oh? List of problems posted on the wall. And I have a cat on me. Well, you're going to make a decision about not blocking my view? Oh, he's finally laying down. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, offer help with his problems. Maybe you could help with some of your problems? Oh, thank you. I'd certainly like any assistance you can offer. Look at the problems board. Uh, you glance at the problems board, which offers a selection of current issues as well as a dire warning. Uh, which problems do you uh, want to offer to help with? Let's start off with a missing mail. 
Last batch of mail never got here. We don't know if something happens to the mailman or what. Let's go talk to Reginald in the bunkhouse. He used to be a mailman. So he can tell you where to start your search. Not yet. Talk to partner. It's a ranch out this way run by a la lady named Alexandria. Not that I got much hope of her still being alive. Ah, uh, gee, Susie. Come on, Susie. Keep your chin up. No, I'm fine. As long as we got... As long as we put a stop to this, Alexandria Ranch. Don't be this guy. This guy is grimly washing dishes. He notices you looking and waves your weight irritated. Just two old friends reminiscing about how good times are occasionally showing one, showing one another their guns in a non-threatening way. It's probably dangerous to interrupt this. Spittoon, an unusually full one. Best to leave it alone. Oh. Take a closer look. Look, this isn't a mom and pop's family time, family fun time saloon. This is a dive bar in a dive town. And people th who drink here are mainly drifters and desperados. Don't go splashing around in the literal scum of the scum of the earth. <laughs> I'm gonna... Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It's vile behavior. I have my face right up to the thing. What does it look like? No, I'm not telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul spittoons. I've got my hand right in there splashing around. La la, I'm not listening. You find nothing. You're the worst person in the world. Ha, I found something. All right. Like a necrotic skin disorder, I bet. Actually, it's bare boots, so there, Mr. Delicate Stomach. Boots, great. Boots full of bandits, but I hope they haven't I hope they have to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you. I hope they name it after you. You just showed some of the sweet boots. This is nasty. It's a post. Trade with it. Oh, it's an... Uh, okay. I got lockpick and expertise. After you're done reading it, you donate it to local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. <laughs> Uncanny presence, a perk that uh, provides resistance against elemental damage. Uh, butter bean, a spell that reduces an opponent's muscle. And uh, bean wall. Bean wall. You practice making hills of beans flatter and flatter until they become walls. Fortunately, just as you finally master the technique, you drop the book on the other side of one of those walls and lose it. Nice. Looks like some poor son of a bitch wandered into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, geez, rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cousin in here in Breadwood. Oh, sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread related products. So I've noticed. I was about the guy washing dishes. That muffin lover ran up a tab he couldn't pay off, so now he gets to wash dishes. Some of them dishes I've been saving for such an occasion. How much does he owe? 150. I'll pay it. You're even dumber than I assumed, but whatever. I can, you can tell him he's free himself. Alrighty. Buy a drink. Bartender pours a shot of something and slaps him in the bar in front of you. Don't want to get the juice? No. Breadwood bourbon. You're free, bud. What'd you do a thing like that for? I was just feeling charitable, I guess. Well, thanks. I don't know how to how to do pretty much nothing except washing dishes. Nothing at all. I can also wash clothes, and I can play the washboard. That's pretty much it, though. Send them to dirt water. Well, there's plenty of job opportunities opening up in dirt water. Why don't you try your luck out there? Oh, all right, it's worth a shot. Thanks, pal. What are these guys up to? Ask them. The man with the black hat has a huge pile of meat in front of him. The man with the white hat looks broke and sad. What's your plan, fellows? Pharaoh. 
But I wouldn't say we're playing, I'd say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. The white man of the white hat grumbles. How does it work? It's easy. You bet 50 meat, then you can name as many pharaohs as you can. Every time you name one, I give you 20 meat. Wait, what? If those are rules, how do those guys lose all those meat to you? He's real bad at it. Sure, I'll give it a try. Start naming pharaohs, Tutankhamun. Uh oh, you don't actually know the name of any more pharaohs. Maybe you can actually just get away with making some up. That's all I got. Okay. I owe you one piano. I wonder if I can play the miniature piano here and get away with it. Well, anyway, leave. Okay. So it doesn't actually do anything. All is not well with the well. On one hand, it's moderate convenience. On the other hand, it's just it's got zero privacy. Flush it just for fun. You got a perk, Master of Flushing. Oh crap! What does that do? Uh, your toilet, your toilet flushing muscles aren't fantastic. I got muscles for flushing a toilet. Also, gonna raise my bean well. There's some water and a few miscellaneous toiletries provided. Wash up. Much better. This guy seems very focused on his beard growing. How are you, Reginald? Who in the fuck are you? My name's Final Fire. The mayor's got me investigating some missing mail. So you give me a line on where to start looking. Oh, yeah, alright. I gave up being a mailman a couple years ago, but I doubt they've changed the system much. All the mail headed here used to go through a way station just south of here. I'll mark it on your map. Guys just chilling by the fire must not be a very good fire. Hi, right, stranger. I'm Hobart Buppert. You're what? Oh, I mean, hi, Hobart. I'm Final Fire. You seem like a traveling sword. Mind doing a fellow a favor. What's the favor? I think it's my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. That's cool. quite a dream. I've heard they got one at the petting cemetery, but... The, the what? The petting cemetery. Is that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like, but I, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. Went alone? Nah, no, I figured I got no prospects of paying it back. But I caught a camera and I figured if you went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of their owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, I'll do that. Great, thanks a bundle. You got owl camera. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back. Owl K, I'll be back. Owl. Why? Full lockers labored H. Halloway and it's very locked. Oh. Downwich Crouton. Croissant Le Breton. All the graves to pass here are too old to still be legible. Pepperoni mold. Let's go to the petting ceremony, uh, cemetery. You see a few buildings off the distance and spur Sphix towards them to investigate. It turns out to be old Kellogg Sanatorium. You remember reading about this place with the, in the papers? Crazy guy obsessed with bodily and spiritual purity, charging rich people an arm and a leg to, to eat bad food for a few weeks. I'm going to keep going where I was headed. Welcome to Gorman Lancaster's one and only petting cemetery. It's educational and entertainal. Entertain. Entertational. Only 500 meat. Entertational? Look, don't knock the patter, okay? <laughs> petting cemetery? That's right, a wide, wide variety of guaranteed genuine animal skeletons, and you're free to touch them to your heart's content. All with your hands, that is. No writing. Can I feed them? You can try. Neat. I'm sure, I'll pay it. Wonderful, just hold still for a second while I memorize your face. Hmm, okay. 
Gordon, thank you for your patronage. You're welcome. Talk to your partner. Petting cemetery, neat. What? That doesn't sound right. It must be like an exhibit of animal skeletons. Come on, let's check it out. I've seen enough animal skeletons to last me a lifetime. It's hawk skeleton. Hawks resent being mistaken for falcons. It will shoot you if you do it too many times. Bobcats are known for their ferocity and the weird high-pitched noises they make when telling jokes. Lexus is a desert ape skeleton, but there's nothing here, also you're pretty sure this does such thing as a desert ape. You wanna know how many fireballs it takes to get to the center of an enemy skeleton? Just ask an owl. With a click on a flash, you take a photo for how about Bob Art? Of a desert tourist, it's currently less of a hurry to get to places than it was alive. The skeleton of a jackrabbit in a pinch, the jackrabbit can help you change a wheel on your wagon. Oh. Oh, I get it. It says pack rat skeleton, but there's nothing here. Nuts. Buffalo skeleton, but there's nothing here. Bu uh, buffaloed by this fact. Okay. Gently stroke the former former animal skull. Boon of the tortoise. The fact that he giggles every time I approach him is weird to me. Counter Gobble Chef out, out harvesting produce, which I mean, knocking lumps off a cactus, it gives you some real side when it sees you. Hey, you a human, to keeping away from these lumps that are mine. Or maybe I'm cooking you instead. What? You guns don't people to eating, do you? Ha, no gross. I did saying that to scare you away. Did you get scared? Jeez, a little, yeah? Nice. Talk to him. So what's cooking? Lumps? Okay then. Make a suggestion. Instead of bashing the cactus apart, have you considered cutting it up with a knife? Or to consider cacturing with... Uh, or to consider cactus with knife to cutting. Ah yes, another chef man suggesting this. The texture of texture all of wrong. Here you can have his pants. They don't they don't goblin legs fitting. Okay, thanks. Man, reading goblinese just fucking hurts my brain. Howdy, finally, you managed to take a picture of that elbow skeleton? Sure did, here you go. Very all we look at that, what a beaut. Well, thanks, final. I ain't gotten anything for a war, but I imagine you get some experience points out of it. 150, nice. Alright, I think I'm going to call it quits here for today. I know it was a really short stream, but I'm just not feeling it now. I, I'm, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, let's figure out who to raid. Oh, Knockout Wizard's playing. Playing Skatebird. All right. Well, I hope everybody had a good time. I know it was a again, like I said, a short stream, but hope hopefully people kind of enjoyed the the short but sweet. Um. So yeah, tomorrow is chat lamy day. Uh, might just be finishing preparations and. Hopefully, uh, going against Poltergast. We'll have to see. Um, the raid message will be...
It's skate verb, so we're doing final at 29. We. There you go. Raid verb. Um, I hope everybody takes care. See ya.